Hello everyone, this is Oliver Plays MC. I hope you guys are having a good day. Today, I hope you guys are all feeling lucky because I sure am. Not because I'm wearing my retainers right now, which is why you might notice that my voice is a little lispy. Sometimes it is in my other videos too. You might have noticed that by now. I'm not sure. But anyways, I hope you guys are feeling lucky because today we are talking about the Potion of Luck. That's right. This is a feature that is exclusive to the Java edition. However, today I am actually filming on the old console edition again. And you'll notice that because it says Minecraft Xbox One Edition. And that's because my screen recording software on my current uh, Mac d does not work very well. It's quite laggy, as you guys might have seen in one of my previous videos. Um, my computer just sucks as well. So I'm going to have to figure that out in the future so that if I ever need to film on the Java Edition, I have a sustainable and good way to. Um, with that out of the way, let's get right into this video about the Potion of Luck, a Java Edition exclusive that also happens to be on the console edition uh, that I have to record it on, unfortunately. But I guess it's fortunate because if you like console edition, here we are. So yeah, the Potion of Luck. Here we go. We have a sign that says, I'm feeling lucky. I hope you're feeling lucky. And we have the Potion of Luck. Now, the first thing that you'll notice about the Potion of Luck is um, if we do go into creative mode, Sorry, well, if we were to go into survival mode, you would notice that, um, and, go, and you would notice if you look on the Minecraft wiki or if you're on survival mode or whatever, uh, that there is no recipe for the Potion of Luck. Uh, it is creative, it is a creative only item, as you can see, I just drank it, and now we do have the luck effect. Um, and so it, it only, you can only get it in creative, which means it actually has no use in survival right now, and, um, it isn't even in Bedrock Edition anyways. But the idea of the Potion of Luck is that it allows you to get better loot from certain loot tables. Uh, it, it allows any, any loot table that you come across, the Potion of Luck increases the chance that you're going to get a better loot, a better loot from that loot table. You're going to get a better loot table overall. So for example, if we were to begin fishing with the Luck Effect, the idea is that we are going to get better we we're going to get better um, loot from this fishing session. So if we wait here for a little bit, um, in fact, there's no reason really to do this, to wait right to wait here right now, um, because it's just going to make this video go on longer. However, the idea is um, we will get better. Uh, we'll get better. We have chances to get um, better loot tables from fishing or doing anything that involves a loot table with the um, with the luck effect on. So now uh, I can show you another example of that. If we go down to our dungeon over here, let's just hop on down um, and I'll put the luck effect away. I guess maybe I'll keep the lingering one out. That one's fun. If we go down the invisible elevator and we go into our um, skeleton spawner, this is our dungeon, you'll notice that let's say you, you, aren't, you aren't using this potion of luck. Let's throw it over here. You don't have the luck effect. So if we were to go into uh, creative, the creative inventory and we were to grab ourselves a bucket of milk and get rid of this luck, we would not have it um, when we open this chest and therefore we're going to get this crap. We're going to get string and sticks and gunpowder and coal from this uh, chest because we do not have the luck potion, so we just get the we just don't get as good of a loot table. However, if we walk into oop, okay, it looks like I've ran out of it, so I'm gonna splash myself with luck. And now, if we go over and we uh, go into the second um, dungeon chest, you'll notice that we're going to get a better loot table, a much better loot table because we have the luck potion on. So we have coal, music disc, a ton of iron, a bunch of um, name tags. Another music disc, saddle bread, um, much better loot simply because we have the luck potion on us. And we have the luck effect, and it is giving us a better chance of getting a better loot table than, uh, I guess, sticks and coal and gunpowder. And gunpowder, I guess, is pretty useful. They're all useful items, but uh, none of them are as good as iron or music discs or name tags. Name tags are quite valuable. Uh, so, with that said, that is the end of this video. It's a real short video about the Potion of Luck. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, the Potion of Luck is a Bedrock Edition, sorry, is a Java Edition exclusive. However, it is on the console edition, which is where I'm filming it. So, it's missing from the Bedrock Edition. Um, I don't really see, I don't really see this needing to come to the Bedrock Edition. Um, if it comes to the Bedrock Edition, I think that it should have 
you should have a brewing recipe because the fact that it doesn't have a brewing recipe means that it's quite useless in survival, which is what most people are going to be, which is the, the mode that most people are going to be playing when they want to brew potions. So um, I think that if it's going to come to survival, if it's going to come to bedrock, it should be given a brewing recipe. At the moment, it seems quite strange that it's just a creative only item. What's the point? Maybe for map making? Not sure. Anyways, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video about the luck potion, and I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully in the next week or so. See you later. Bye.